I don't know what's going on in this cockeyed world in which we live. San O'Day's is dedicated to San Onofre. Period. I mean, it's not Rincon, it's not uh, um, Santa Barbara, it's not Wind and Sea. San O'Day's is San Onofre. So then, what happens? Here comes the 17 Street Seals. You know who they are because I know you read this stuff. They've got uh, uh, um, who? Jimmer Lindsay? Mike Bright? Well, those guys are all old. And those guys are 80 years old in their uh, Sano days. Well, it beats um, the Dickens out of me. Anyway, I read on there that the 17 Street Seals have everything they owe to Bobby Covey. Well, I know who Bobby Covey is, and there's a few of you out there that know Bobby Covey. Bobby Covey is the guy that made the 17 Street Seals. The only one in that bunch that could surf is, what's his name? Um, Chip Post. January the 10th, year of our Lord, 1953. I was with um, Belzy. You remember Belzy, the hawk? I think he's dead. Well, and Willie Barr, his glasser. The three of us on January the 10th woke up and there were waves that were 15 to 20 feet in height at the Manhattan Beach Pier. So we get in the Hawks car and we drive. And we drove, one of the stops was Haggerty's. And here's this young teenager by the name of Chip Post was riding 12 feet high waves. And he was riding them. He wasn't one of these straight off, eight off, uh, ten of shoe Ernie guys. You know who I'm, of whom I'm, uh, you know, I forget. I start doing these things and then I forget. Well, anyway, Bobby Covey is the guy that made the uh, 17th Street Seals, period. End of report.